I want to show you something really stupid that I like doing. How does he do it? His legs aren't moving. Uh, it's eerie. Okay, now I, I don't know why. I just I always like that. Anyway, we go inside and hey, change of perspective. Uh, it looks like you entered through here, but you actually enter over there. It's really, really weird. So we'll go over here and check it out. Oh, check it out. Um, another purified chamber notification interrupting me. We got a lava waterfall, and you know what that means. There's going to be treasure or a cave behind that waterfall. What will it be? Well, it's actually both. You have a Pokemon healing machine right here, and you have a cave. So they fulfilled both tropes that I've said back in my Okami Let's Play. Awesome. Walk up here, and there's a PC, but you can't access till after this. You look cute, but you're also brave and bold to come to a place like this. It'd be a shame to beat someone like you, but this is a good chance to score some points with Master Grievel. Why is it that every girl, even if she's like... 12 wants to score points with Grievel. It's like everybody wants to date Varric for some reason. Kimberly Sounds like a really weird abbreviation for Kimberly. Now, a little bit. Hope to get some good levels on him soon. Let's go up here, go up to another level of Citadark Isle, and we are not even close to being done here. Not even close. We have so much to go through. Email! Egan, dear Michael, I hope you are well. I, f I wrote you a haiku poem. If Team Snagum goons cause trouble in the desert, go and sandbag them. That is awful, and you will never live up to the levels of Professor Oak writing poetry. I'm sorry. Buy them, but they are guarding some really useful items. As such, I'm going to cut these battles out and just kind of show what items these are. Oh, Mirror B may have appeared. That's what's important. And stop interrupting me, you freaking radars and notifications and all that other stuff. Sometimes they really overdo it with those things. They always seem to happen like three in a row somehow. I'm not really sure why, but they just do. And I don't mean just purifications, like that mere B radar popped up right there alongside it. And we get a PP up right there. All those are definitely worth your time. Well, except maybe the elixir. I don't tend to use those all that much, even though they are good. Wahahaha! You thought there was no one this way, didn't you? You're not getting off the hook that easy. What are you, Slippy Toad? You seem to be quoting him. Callist! Well, I got news for you. You're not the coolest. You're the callist. And you wouldn't have been the coolest anyway because you're impersonating Slippy Toad. There we go. You are down. Can't battle in this wicked heat. Uh, yeah, I'm totally sure that selecting a text from a menu really, really weigh has weighed on by the heat around here. Yeah, totally. And uh, no, there was more over here. Crap! I thought I could go and get the item and then go back to heal. Throwing everything at you with no strain. I can't take this brutal heat anymore. Overly dramatic, much? Colin. I thought Colin was a boy's name, but I don't know. Maybe it's like pronounced colon, in which case I feel very, very bad for you because you probably got made fun of on the playground quite a bit as soon as kids heard what that word meant for the first time. Now, there better not be another trainer because I want to go over there and get that item. It's too hot here. I can't focus on it at all. Then again, why am I being so impatient that I want to go over and grab that item? You know, I could just go back and heal. Uh, you know what? I've already committed to it. Let's grab it. Full restore. Two of them. All right, we got lots and lots of helpful items. We got a few more Shadow Pokemon. We got lots of battling experience in, and a certain two Pokemon I've got are getting really high up. We're gonna be continuing our trek through Citadark Isle. I bet you didn't see that one coming. Wow, I gotta say, I like these lanterns right here. They're kind of stand out. You got these little barriers, which you can totally slip through if you were small like me and fall off. Maybe that's what Grievel's hoping for. You know, he's just like, oh, he's a defiant little kill. Just ignore the warning signs and just pfft, splash right into the lava. How is all this metal and rock not melting? Oh, well. We got these two bodyguards up here. My name is Carbon. And my name is Petro. Together, we bring a, a power double explosion attack. Wow, you mean that... Wow, I guess Explosion's power is already double because it effectively has your opponent's defense. So what you're saying is your Pokemon attack that has 1,000 base power effectively, correct? I'm such a geek. All right, what are you sending next at? Zatu. I'm sorry. I, I, did, I haven't brought this up earlier, though, but I can never look at Zatu without thinking of that time that I embarrassingly called it Exatu. People never let me hear the end of that one, the fact that I call it Exatu. But I'm sorry. The, the Poke Rap when I was a kid, called it Exatu. And, you know, I just kind of... Always pronounced it Exatu, and you guys corrected me on it. it was the first time that I well actually no I remember in the movie Pokemon Five they did I, I'm such a nerd I'm just I'm such a stickler for official pronunciations that I can't help but get knocked on whenever I get them wrong. Any All right, let's throw that ball. I'm gonna use Call right here just for no reason. Hey, Ball and Call. All right. I'm so stupid. There I go calling myself stupid again. I don't need to I don't mean to talk myself down all that much. Okay, one. Oh, and Hitmonchan has a shadow move we haven't gotten to see yet, Shadow Down. This move was held by some Pokemon like Raticate that we had already fought, but this is our first time actually seeing it in action because they didn't use that attack until now. 
Shadow Down is like Screech, but hits both opponents in a double battle. Really, really nice move for softening up your opponents quickly. And if you want to have Hitmonchan around because you're under-leveled and you want to do more damage to the opponent, or if you just want to have it around as a wall killer, um, that's another use for it. One. Two. Get this! You'll learn that I have incredible power even by myself! Did your partner, like, jump in the lava or something like that? What is it with them just disappearing the second that you take them out? I mean, I know that you gotta get the guards out of the way somehow, though, but isn't there another answer than, I don't know, having them jump in the lava out of pure fear of a ten-year-old boy? Just saying, sounds a little bit silly when you put it in perspective like that. Okay, so at the end of the last battle, I meant to heal up Dodrio as it only had 6 HP and I wanted it for this fight. That didn't happen. I accidentally used my Super Potion on Mustache. That was really, really not good. Okay. I'm going to go for Blizzard, and I really, really don't want to make that same mistake twice. Let's use the Super Potion. Okay. Now, just watch. Dodrio's going to get one-hitted regardless of me doing that. It's going to get hit by a stupid, like, friggin' critical hit. Oh, no! Didn't even need a critical hit. Of course, I just get hit by a really powerful attack. So that Super Potion was completely pointless. Let's throw up Billy Bob. Okay do this. I want to start having, like, luckier battles. The problem is that Dodrio is falling behind in levels just because it's taking a while to get its heart gauge down, and for that reason, it's just that it's falling behind in it's like, oh, bleh, okay. Dodrio is falling behind in levels because it is not purified, and it's making it harder to fight with. It was doing pretty well around the middle of Citadark Isle, or at least a couple videos ago, but now we are having trouble with it because of that. There. That's what I was trying to say. Now, about that. Later on, all right, here we go. Can I catch this first ball? That'd be really, really nice. One. Two. Oh, new attack, Shadow Half. Yes, Hitmonlee is very, very helpful if you want to stag Shadow Pokemon. Shadow Half is basically Super Fang, but it hits both opponents. So Shadow Half will do half of the remaining HP. Only thing is, you also hurt yourself with it, but... If you don't mind that, you might want to pack Hitmonlee on your team just for the simple fact that, you know, if you just don't purify it, it makes it very, very good at helping you catch Shadow Pokemon that you don't want to, you know, use regular attacks on normally. If you don't have something like Super Fang, like that Raticate we saw earlier, this is a pretty good option. Plus, being a Shadow Pokemon, it resists all Shadow moves. So I think it's a little bit of a better option than that Raticate was. And sure enough, as soon as I praise it like that, we catch it. All done. Goodbye, Pietro. Go back to being a rainbow-colored sheep. Gwa is what he says in response to that. He no longer has reason to live now that I have pointed out what he shall become. Aw. All right, I need to go heal really bad. All healed up. Let us see what is beyond this lift. We go up even higher. Moving up in the world. We were down low for quite a while, and ooh. Check it out. You have pseudo-platforming in a Pokemon game. Yes. Wait a minute. Look at the ground here. It's Lord Helix! Okay, I couldn't resist. Three rare candies! Lord Helix is bountiful. Damn. Never insult the Helix. Check it out! Uh, uh, this feels so good. Whenever you have a high-level evolution that you really had to sit through a lot of stuff and you get to just finish it off with rare candy, it feels great. Check it out! Lairon has evolved into Agron. We now have beastly attack, beastly defense, and all in all, we're just going to be wrecking everyone. Ah, uh, feels so good. Not only that, I'm going to elevate Mustache to 41, 42, 43. Well, do I really want to elevate it to level 44? Thinking about it? Eh, sure, why not? Okay, fine. I know that some people might think that Mustache is going to be way ahead of the pack at this point, though, but I want my evolution, dang it. All right. Mustache is evolving. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. You thought his mustache couldn't get any more crazy than it already was. You greatly underestimate the power of Walrein. There we go. 
We now have Walrein and Aggron. All of our Pokemon are now fully evolved. Dodrio's too cool to get an evolution scene, though. He came to us fully evolved. And what do you know on the way out? Did I startle you? I did spook you, didn't I? I should do that to you in battle, too. All right, well, you know what? We didn't have Aggron last battle. We didn't have Walrein last battle. Let's fight you, Gromlet. Is your friend's name Wallace? A little bit of trouble. Dusclops is definitely a bulkier Pokemon. Uh, wow. What is it with them always attacking Dodrio? Like, I swear, my opponents... Well, okay, it is lower level, though, so maybe they just kind of want to pick off the small fry first, you know, just to get, like, some, you know, a member of my team taken down quicker. But still, it's getting kind of irritating how it's always Dodrio they attack. It's always Dodrio the critical hits go on. It's just like... I'm starting to think Dodrio might just have some bad luck. Like, I'll wait till after purification before making a call on that, though. Like, I don't want to disown it or anything like that. Don't. I'm not even thinking about that, because I wanted Dodrio. Because I think it's a really, really nice Pokemon that I wish got some more love. And, you know, I'd like to give it some here. So, okay, Crobat. Not worried at all about you. I am worried about that Dusclops, however. Astonish. That's not going to affect Dodrio, so that's definitely... Oh, actually, no, wait. Astonish? Never mind. Okay, yeah, okay, I was right. And, ah, the first time Billy Bob gets attacked as an Aggron, it takes two damage. I'm kind of disappointed now. Okay. Uh, let's go for... Uh, I'm going to do the uh, Double Edge just because I'm worried about Iron Tail being kind of inaccurate, and we're kind of in a tough spot. Um, Shadow Blitz. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Anything's faster than Dodrio, it's going to be that. Yep. Goodbye, Dodrio. You fought valiantly. Okay. Well, not all bad. We can get Mustache in on some of the action. Man, Mustache indeed. Just look at that facial hair, man. His mustache is so huge that it encompasses his eyebrows. He's like the... He's like the uh, village chief from uh, Petalburg in Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. <laughs> I think it was Croup was his name? Yeah, I think it was Croup. <laughs> I always liked that guy. He's just like, yeah, Murphy, look at my eyebrows. There I go, referencing something I said many years ago. How fitting I do that around the anniversary. Go on. Freeze his ass. Done. Uh, feels so good. I never thought I'd be able to say those words in such confidence. And well, Lord. Well, uh, that kind of makes things awkward. You know, whenever you send it a Wailord and anything, it really does make things awkward whenever you can see how big it is. And you know, now that we're seeing a Wailord in person, I want you to notice something. It's floating in the air. And Wailord is indeed called the Float Whale Pokemon. And, as I'm sure some of you already know from a certain other Poketuber, if you take Wailord's height and weight, and you figure out its dimensions, you can figure out that Waylord is less dense than air. And, you know, that old man with Alzheimer's in Agate Village, or at least his son... That old man, way back in Agate Village, his son thought he had Alzheimer's or had dementia or something like that because he said he saw a Waylord flying through the sky? Nope. That old man did not have any sort of problems at all. He was the one with the factual truth that the Pokedex doesn't even bother to mention. Waylord is less dense than air, and damn it, it can fly! Yes, even while frozen solid and not moving in the slightest. Waylord is just that low in density that it can freaking do that. Even when all the liquids in its body are just frozen. Doesn't matter, it still floats. And Waylord continues floating into its fainting. <laughs> Doesn't even need to be conscious, it'll still float. That is when you know that you are truly a blip. Truly everyone's dream. All right. Well, that does it. We made a fair amount of progress. We had the bountiful Lord Helix give us a gift in the form of those rare candies. We had our last two Pokemon that needed to evolve do so. 